I was walking around the summit and listen, Chef Maynard, he had to run me down and say, listen, <laughs> you better come over here and talk to me. So I pulled up. <laughs> and that's okay. I'm so glad to be here. I'm so glad to be chatting with you about a little bit what we're doing here today and uh, why we're here and why this means so much to us. Yes, of course. So you are the, are you the owner? I am chef and owner of Nafasi Catering. Um, we are a full service catering operation specializing in sustainable cuisine. So we like to use as many local ingredients as possible when curating our menus and we like to uh, just have a great time with it. Um, I think a lot of people think that healthy eating has to be boring when in fact it doesn't. It's a good time and we also have our monthly cooking classes so people are able to come and learn how to make some of these amazing dishes and see the ease and then you can take it home and do it for your family. So it's just really trying to impact the community by giving them another perspective on intentional dining and so that we can move into a better place as a community as we nourish our bodies and inspire change. Oh, I love that because listen, us in the black community, we got to get us together. We can't just keep eating the fried chicken and the collard greens. It's good though. That's my weakness. Let me tell you, anybody that knows me knows I love me a good fried wing, okay? But we got to look past that, you know, and even if we are to do that, let's maybe use avocado oil instead of shortening. You know, there are definitely a lot of ways that we can still enjoy our cultural favorites, but do it in a health conscious way. We make kale all the time, but we use no meat. We use smoked paprika and make sure there's plenty of mirepoix, which includes your bell peppers and onions and garlic. You don't even miss the meat. So you guys sign up for our cooking class coming up in September. It's happening September 22nd. We're calling it the spring, excuse me, the fall October. Equinox because we're having the class on the first day of fall. So you guys come out. It's great for the whole family. We'll be doing a little food folklore and history. Um, and then we're going to have an amazing family style dining experience together at the end to kind of cap everything off. It's just a good time. It's a really I really time. love that because so many of us want to eat healthy, yeah. but we don't know what to put together. Exactly. Like, how do I make a meal out of some fruits and vegetables? Exactly. So I really like that you guys are about healthy eating and having classes to actually teach the community how to cook and how to prepare meals for themselves and their families. So what, what brought that on and inspired you to not only create a restaurant, but something to impact the, the community in that way? Yeah, so what people have to understand is when you're in the industry of hospitality, we're here to serve. So that means every customer, or any client that comes my way, anyone that has a question, we're there to be of service. So us being able to have these cooking classes and all these different things allows people to receive all of the benefits and then dig a little deeper. Um, it's all about, in my estimation, the ability of the community to come together over food and fellowship. I come from a family where family dinners and stuff was a big thing. And you know, there could have been bickering outside of that, but nobody was bickering when we were eating. So we can emulate that, again, by nourishing our bodies. See, I always say, if you eat good food, you make good decisions. And if you make good decisions, then you have the ability to change the world. So that's where we get the Nourish Your Body Inspired change from, because we're looking for a global change. But it starts with what we put in our bodies, because that affects what? Our mind. So it all correlates together. You know, I'm just kind of pulling the pieces together for folks and helping them navigate. And just so you know, cooking healthy doesn't have to be expensive. Peep it peep it. A lot of people think being vegan, you know, or eating vegetarian requires you to make a certain amount of money. No, ma'am. No, sir. You can do it on a budget and it can actually be more sustainable than you going out and grabbing something or ordering on DoorDash and paying a bunch of fees. Cook it at home. You know what's in it. You can cook it how you like it so you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to wonder if someone's messed with your food. It's just a lot more of an intimate, a hands-on experience. Now, you told me that Nafasi Catering means something in Swahili, right? Yes. Okay, yes. come on and tell the people. So, Nafasi Catering stands for, in Swahili, it means breath of fresh air. So when we launched in October of 2020, we actually started as a cannabis brand. So we were doing, um, it was during COVID, so I needed something to do. So we were making meals and infusing them and I was putting them on Instagram with pre-orders and people were picking them up from my apartment. So that's where the breath of fresh air come because we were in a time where we all needed a breath of non-contaminated fresh air. So now we're just continuing that same legacy because we all need a breath of fresh air. No matter what your walk of life is, everyone needs a moment to decompress, to reconnect, and so we like to activate spaces and create that environment for that to happen. See, this is why I like events like the Well Summit Live because you meet black people owning spots 
and with different backgrounds and meanings as inspirational as this. And this, this is what I'm talking about. This is what it's all about, y'all. So tell the people, where are you? Where are you located so they can eat your food and take your classes? Definitely. So we work out of a commercial kitchen in Charles Village called Our Time Kitchen. So we're there prepping. Um, we'll be resuming our cooking classes in September. We took a little break for the summer. But the Our Time Kitchen is where we host those classes. And you can also catch us at Fells Point Farmer's Market every Saturday. We're there from 8 to 1230. You literally get on Broadway and take it till you can't go anymore. You'll see all the tents and stuff there. So with us being a sustainable business, we're constantly rotating our menus so that we can offer the public something new and so we can also keep showcasing our local harvest and produce. Love it. And what's your website and your social media channels? Absolutely. So you can check us online. Our website is www.nafasicatering.com. We have everything from farmer's market pre-orders on there. You can register for our cooking classes there. You can take a look at some of the things that we have going on. You can catch us on Instagram at at Nafasi. That's N-A-F-A-S-I underscore catering. There you'll be able to see a lot of videos of kind of the fun we have when we do our events. And you can email us as well at Nafasi Edibles at Gmail. So there's lots of great ways for you guys to get in touch with us. I can't wait to greet y'all and meet y'all in person. Listen, make sure y'all go visit him. Stay up with Nafasi Catering. Listen, this table right here was for the kids, but I almost knocked down a child for a slider, okay? Somebody almost got knocked down for a slider. Exactly. All right. It's a real thing. So make sure y'all stay tuned in with this man right here and go check out his food. Please, please.